I bought an 80 year old lady's lifetime collection of craft supplies and we're opening bin number 59. This one is full of beads, so we're gonna shoot top down. I am literally so excited for this bin. I have been dreaming over the beads that we've been finding in this collection and I thought that we were done. I thought we had found them all and then I found even more. So this, this is wild. The next couple bins are gonna be uh, beads, so prepare for that. And this one, look at this. This literally says Murano Real Deal. So I'm really, uh, really excited about this one. I don't know too much about Murano other than um, it is very sought after and I guess valuable, but man, these are so cool. I just love the different colors and the different shapes. I've seen some Murano before, but honestly, whoops. I think they've looked more like this or at least kind of like this. So this is a really, really fun find. I know a lot of people are gonna be excited for this one and I love just seeing these. I, I don't really <laughs> do much with beading or jewelry, but there's something about these that just makes me so happy. I mean, just look, look at these colors and the sparkle. I really haven't seen anything like this before. And I'm just so, so, so excited to share them with you. Oh my gosh, wait, wait, these are tiny little hearts. I love the heart beads. I didn't actually, maybe I kept a tiny bit, but I didn't, oh my gosh, that one has a star shape on it. But yeah, I didn't actually keep the um, heart beads from a few bins back, even though I thought they were so cute, just because there were so many comments on them. And I was like, all right, someone's gonna be really happy to get these. So I left them, but I did keep a few of my favorites, like just a handful. And I still have no idea what I'm gonna do with them other than admire them. Oh my gosh, whoa. Those are really pretty as well. I feel like these are little pieces of art and I don't think I'm the only one who thinks that. <laughs> oh my goodness. How fun. Oh, that one's already turned into a little pendant. But yeah, I'm definitely going to do some research to see exactly. Oh my gosh, that one looks like it has a heart in it. Uh, exactly what they are, what they're worth. And you guys have been super helpful in the comments letting me know what everything is because um obviously the jewelry isn't you know <laughs> isn't my expertise my area of expertise and y'all have just given me the most amazing tips to help not only value this collection but be able to help identify them for people who are shopping in our store actually this looks pretty similar to some of the Murano I've seen in the past as well. I haven't really seen beads though. I've seen more like, well, no, I have. I have seen beads. I've seen more glassware though. But speaking of our store, if you're new here, my name is Stephanie. I own a secondhand art and craft supply shop called Bottom of the Bin. And we're located in Tampa Bay, Florida, and customers can trade in their leftover art and craft supplies to get store credit. So it's a really cool way to reuse what's already in our community and help keep art affordable and accessible for everyone around. And like I said at the beginning of the video, we recently bought an 80 year old lady's entire collection of craft supplies. So that's where this came from. We are unbinning or unboxing one bin, well actually three times a week and just discovering all these beautiful treasures. And then if you're local to our shop, the bin is available known as the bin of the day. We keep it on a separate table in our shop for two days after the video release so our customers have a chance to come shop the selection and then it gets scattered through the store in the right departments. And we do have an eBay shop, which I'll be honest, we haven't really been listing much on right now because of summer, it's a bit slower, but there is a decent selection of stuff if you're looking. So definitely go take a, whoops. So definitely go take a look there. Oh, wow, this is, what? Okay. I might have to just keep that because it's, oh my gosh, it's just a single one. And I don't know why to me, it looks like the galaxy and I'm obsessed. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, I don't even know what I was saying. Something about eBay and finding our link um, at bottomofthebin.com. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is another real, oh, I need to keep that one, I think. Why well, They're just, they're, <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen anything this beautiful. And you know what? I do really appreciate glass art. Um, yeah, these two, these two, I have to hang on to because I feel like I will regret it if I don't. Oh my gosh. Just look at that. That is amazing. <laughs> I mean, seriously, this is one of my favorite bead containers that we found so far. <laughs> these are really pretty too. I really love pink and green, but I, I think someone else will enjoy these a bit more than I will. <laughs> 
All right, up next we have some more shinies. Most of these are tick clothes, so let's go ahead and get this one open. Oh my gosh, this one doesn't have a label, but wow, oh my gosh. Talk about beautiful galaxy that we just saw in the other container. These are stunning. I don't even know if the camera is pick. Yes, it is picking up some of those purples and blues. I'm just a sucker for anything shiny and shimmery and beautiful. <laughs> okay, I got me a little spoon. Let's see if this kind of helps <laughs> dig things out. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh my gosh. Talk about stunning. This is just absolutely amazing and incredible. And I'm just in awe. I'm in awe of how beautiful these are. I mean, seriously, just look at these. If you were ever having a bad day and you had a collection like this, you could just look at them and just instantly be full of joy. And I feel like that's kind of what crafting is for a lot of us. Okay, hold on. We're going to try a mini shovel instead. <laughs> I think that's actually worse. Gosh, these are just so hard to pick up. But for me, crafting and creating really is therapeutic. I'm a paper crafter. I make a lot of greeting cards. And honestly, just feeling the paper, cutting the paper, looking at the color and designs for me is one of the best parts. And so I can see why maybe having a collection of beads like this could just be super therapeutic to look at and make you feel happy, even if you don't necessarily make things with them all the time. Like this selection of pastel colors just literally makes my heart so happy. And here is a closer look at this beautiful container. I forgot to do that with the first one. There you go. Here's a beautiful look at the first organizer we looked at. Next, we have some beautiful darker purple. Oh, are these leaves? Oh my gosh, I think they are. There were some that we found quite a few bins back that had a ton of leaves and flowers, and I fell in love with those. Oh, it's storming. Can you hear that? <laughs> um, I kept a few of them. I still, just because I just thought they were so precious. Oh, these two. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Oh, these are plastic. I'm not sure if they're as sought after as like the glass ones. But since I did keep some of the leaves because I thought they were so whimsical, I think I'm going to hang on to these as well. Um, and these I might actually use in my journaling, which is more like an art journal. So... And a couple of these sprinkled in, I think, will just be so absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Using my little spoon again. These are so pretty. They're a very light purple and they have a bit of like gold inflections in them. And these have that beautiful blue shimmer. I love those. Blue and purple is such a gorgeous combination. Oh, we got some more little cute leaves. These are really pretty. These ones are glass, I believe. And they almost have like a little pink sheen to them. Wow, those are gorgeous. They have like a little copper tip. We've seen some like these in other colors and other bins. I think blue and red so far. And here's a closer look at all these beautiful purples and lilacs. Ooh, next are some green leaves. And speaking of green leaves, we have a Bob coming to say hello. Everybody say hi to the star of the show, Bob. Can you hear the rain? Oh my gosh, it's like storming here. I have to say as much as I'm like not a fan of rain, there is something kind of cool about being here in my studio filming these incredible videos. Well, <laughs> filming these mediocre videos <laughs> with this incredible collection of arts and crafts that we got on a rainy day that I would have otherwise just stayed at home and sulked around. I have to say, this is really, really nice and I'm enjoying hanging out with y'all. These leaves are absolutely adorable and there are a few different tones and shapes in here. So there are some of these darker green ones as well. And then these are more of an emerald green. Those are super cute. And oh my gosh, wait, these ones are the little itty bitty flowers. We had some of these um, a few bins back in purple, no, in pink. And I waited to see if they were going to sell and they didn't. So I ended up keeping them. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them yet, but I just thought they were so adorable. So if these don't sell, I might hang on to these as well. Just so I have a bit of a color variety. And maybe I'll start making some whimsical fairy jewelry. Because that's what this all reminds me of. Just whimsical fairies. And here's a closer look at those 
stunning greens. Wow. Okay, it matches my shirt. Speaking of stunning green, there is one more here. Oh, okay, okay. So these are very similar to the pink ones that I was talking about earlier. Because I remember, or maybe they're a different color, I don't know. But I remember seeing these and thinking that they look like little moons. But I really think that they're leaves, like for the flowers. Yeah, these are just a lot of those, just in different colors. Wow. This like green mint color right here is so so pretty it's got like little tiny bits of blue and little tiny bits of green and they're just like these cute little flower shapes i really really like those um in fact a lot of these ones are flowers some here here is some green and white ones like a frosted white these are more of a very like pale soft green and these are gorgeous almost turquoise they look very dark green on camera but they almost have a bit of turquoise to them in person oh and these are kind of a fun shape as well so um from what i understand i think it's layered together i don't know exactly how but something like a rounded bead is supposed to go in there and you make like little flowers i've seen i've seen some put together before and i just i think they're really really beautiful <laughs> oh this tiny little random string of string 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 strand strand <laughs> i can talk of almost like, I don't know, not really a lime green. Is it chartreuse? Is chartreuse green or blue or yellow? Here is a closer look at the stunning green ones. Ooh, next we have some gorgeous blues. Oh, these are really fun. Oh my gosh, look at those. Those are kind of cool. Oh, those are really pretty. They're so small, but such a gorgeous color. Whoa, these are frosted and like literally the powder coating is coming off. I'm not sure if that's supposed to happen. Ooh, hold on, hold on. Look at, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is like a beautiful, almost periwinkle and blue. Oh, if you could see how the light reflects off of these. Oh my gosh. I love those. Oh, those are fun. They're literally shaped like diamonds. I love that color. And then this little bag has some, oh, blue and green. Oh, that's so pretty. I love those together. I just realized I have all this stuff to do my nails, like stickers and nail polish. And I totally meant to, especially on like a video like this when we're zoomed in. But yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Don't judge my nails. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. Oh, the blue and the green together are gorgeous. Then we have these little tubes, which are kind of frosted as well. I think those are really gorgeous as well. And they feel like they're glass. I think most of the ones in here might be glass. And we've got these tiny little cubes. Here is a closer look at these beautiful blues. But wait, there's more blue. These are super cool. I love the shape and I love how they're clear, but you can still see like that blue, very pretty, like a, a baby blue almost. Here's some more tiny little leaves. I like those shapes. Ooh, these are also super shiny and shimmery. Oh my gosh, those are little baby hearts. I absolutely love these as well. These are so beautiful. I'm, I'm not even trying to come up with new adjectives because I mean, it's not very easy and they're all just beautiful, pretty gorgeous and stunning. Here is a closer look at these pretty blues. Oh, we had a purple one earlier, but this looks like it's a bit darker. Oh, and this is the one that I like with all of the leaves and flowers. Beautiful purples. Whoa, look at those. Oh, this is a mix of little baby hearts. Oh, don't fall. Don't fall. I love you. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Ooh, and we have these. These are fun. Nice little. They look like amethyst. I wonder if they're actually amethyst. And here's a closer look at the darker purple. Oh, this one's cool. Hold on. This one has black and blue and purple and green because some of these are just super shiny. I gotta say these jet black flowers are actually kind of awesome. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm in love with those. What a cool shape. They almost look like little spikes. Wow, there's even some of the black leaves too. 
And these colors are just so multifaceted. I love it. It's just picking up blues and greens and purples. Wow. <laughs> those are fun. Oh, and these little discs. Those look very galaxy. Oh, those are so pretty. They're like little bitty baby flowers. This one was actually super fun. I normally don't like the dark colors, but these are gorgeous. And this one has some more blacks and it looks like some maybe browns, copper. Wow, those are really fun. They almost look like little cupcakes. The detail on those is really interesting. Actually, I really like those. The copper and the black together look very classy. And these are the same ones, but black and silver. Aw, these little strands are fun too. I like the cubes and that one's really pretty. And there's more of the flowers that I love so much. And here's a close-up of the beautiful blacks and browns. These videos are getting so long because I feel like I, look, I have to look at every bead and it's just, it's a lot of editing. So um, for these next couple, I'm just going to give you a quick look. So this has some really pretty clear crystals. Lots of different shapes. There's some cubes down here, some circles, and yeah, a bunch of different ooh, little diamonds. <laughs> there are some more really pretty clear ones. There's some tubes and a bunch of little round ones and different shapes in here as well. Oh my gosh, these ones are extra shiny. I'm obsessed with these. They look like little raindrops. I don't think the camera does these any justice, but they are super, super beautiful. Oh, this poor container seen better days. I just realized instead of like holding these up and scrolling through, I can just hold them vertically like this. <laughs> I'm filming for both a TikTok and YouTube. So, you know, I'm trying to think of both. But yeah, here is a much better look. So these are silver, it says silver, no, spacers and cones. And these are kind of neat. I haven't really seen anything like that before. Huh. Whoa, those are super cool as well. I love that green color. Oh my gosh. And those are really, really fun. I've seriously never seen anything like that before. Oh my gosh, look how intricate these ones are. I know people are gonna be so happy to find these. And we have some uh, pretty interesting silver cones here. Wow. And here's a closer look. Lots of different options in there. All right, this one says basics and filigree. Oh my gosh, those almost look like little pumpkins. Those are a cool shape. I love those. So yeah, definitely basics. For, for someone like not super into jewelry, this isn't as exciting as some of the colorful beads are, but I know that the basics are very important when you are designing. So this is a wonderful find uh, as well as this one that says rounds and spacers and i can't really tell you too much about these but there is a nice close look that'll do it for bin number 59 make sure to follow and subscribe so you don't miss the next unbidding and if you're watching these shorter versions on instagram facebook and tiktok you can actually check out the long versions on our youtube which is bottom of the bin and you can find the link at bottomofthebin.com